Hello and good morning to you all. I'm very honored to be the first presentation of today. As, as previously said, I'm, I'm Tommy from Arilin, and what I'll be talking about today is how to create business in a new dimension. Of course, this is going to be the hype word of today, and I think of the rest of the two days of the speeches, and also for me. I'll, I'll start from the beginning, so bear with me that I begin from here. Uh, the internet, the first version of it, it was basically a, a man and a machine type of situation. People were creating uh, like great web pages from the, from the offices and homes. Then came the social web, the 2.0. And that was, of course, powered by Facebook and social media. And now we are living at the semantic web age, the 3.0. I think nobody even knows what it means, but it's basically based on data and APIs and all those uh, services talking to each other. So what we are creating at the moment is the reality. So it's so well that it's 3D plus 1, so it's 4.0. And this is the vision of Microsoft and their uh, own, own mesh, mesh kind of uh, product that they're creating. And as you saw there, it's not important how you begin with. It's more important how you end up with. So it's the most important thing is to get into the digital dimension uh, and be the first there. And it, it looks like a sci-fi and quite <laughs> like out of this world type of thing. But as we are looking at the current development of, for example, camera imaging and neural rendering, this is an, not, not an image and not a, like a 3D representation of a real world. This is, this is done by combining a lot of uh, static images. And it was created, the, the whole 3D image was created from mobile phone images, only the camera data. And the same applies to Tesla. They have cameras installed in every, every, each, and every, each and every one of their cars. And one of those pictures is the direct image of those cameras. And the, another one is those images put to the cloud and then re-rendered again as a 3D image. I cannot tell which one is which. And if you look at the video from YouTube, it's going to be even more impressive. So when is the time to start? It's now. Of course, the best, best day to start was yesterday, but today is the second best. And on to the second point. These are random facts, just again. <laughs> this is going to make sense in the end, but at the moment, just please listen to it. The average memory of a goldfish is nine seconds. Uh, that's fine and dandy, but because we remember that the people's average attention span is eight seconds. So it's going to bring us closer to the end result here. The average amount of data we are uh, seeing every day is at least seven DVDs. This is an old data, so it, I don't know what it's currently, but at least seven DVDs worth of messages we are getting into our systems every day. Currently, at, at the moment in the world, there, there are 6.4 billion mobile phones, smartphones. So actually, every one of us has a like, supercomputer in, in our pockets. And if you combine this with the fact that those previous demonstrations, they were created only with, with uh, camera images, so it starts to make sense that we are actually creating a global network of uh, mobile scanning of, of, the, of the whole world. Five minutes. Last, last spring, we created our own service, Virtual Art Gallery, and the first exhibitions there, uh, people spent over five minutes in the exhibitions. So that's a lot. And even without much advertising, we got over 5,000 visitors to each and every one of those exhibitions. So currently, we are living through the fourth industrial revolution, and it's powered by AI, quantum computing, and lots of cool stuff that's coming our way. And of course, what this means is that this new kind of complex world needs more simpler UIs. So the next level UI will be a 3D. So we are not clicking on images or clicking on buttons. We are actually interacting with the world directly. Of course, this presents a lot of 
opportunities, but also challenges for the next generation of designers. When you create an advertising campaign or, or marketing campaign and you, you utilize uh, emotions, it's studied that it's twice as effective as without those emotions connected with the, with the message. And each and every one of those social posts that you have, you used lots of money and time to create, it takes 1.7 seconds that the people are scrolling through them. And each and every one of us actually swipes 30 kilometers of mobile phone screens every year. So that's a lot. So you are, you're spending a lot of, lot of your effort in stuff that people don't even see. So, what's this for you? You might, be, you might, might get one chance. One chance of a lifetime to, to actually tell your message when it get, gets across and you get your own stage. So, better make it count. And we, we all are lizards in our brains. So basically, we make our decisions in our limbic brain system, which creates those decisions in 0.2 seconds. And only after those emotions and those like, primal instincts, only after that we combine those with facts and actually justify our decisions with facts. And again, you, you said that, not me. I, I'm, I'm more <laughs> intelligent than that. But then you can explain me that how, how does this 300-euro T-shirt and the 5-euro T-shirt, they are exactly the same. But basically, it's only the branding that makes the difference in a, in a product. So this is my conclusion. Nobody cares what you're doing. Nobody cares about your message. So that's going to be really hard, even when, when the world is getting even more complex every day. <clears throat> so, excuse me, a little bit of newer marketing here. How we get the message across? The first task is to create the attention. So this is the, the part that actually gets you, gets your, uh, the lizard brain moving. Then you have to create an emotion, and that, that is that's going to take some time. So you can. Get a, get a message and get some creative juices flowing. Only after that can you deliver your message. So then, then the message uh, is combined in the brain with the emotion and it sticks. And how conveniently, this is exactly what's, what XR is good for. It's, it's still novel. You can ignite uh, the curiosity of, of your client, clients. So, you're, you can create something that they are, they are not expecting, so you get, your, get their attention. Then, as I said, even five minutes, you can, you can actually get some time from your customers. So you, you have the time and space to tell your story, and maybe actually get the message across and transform your clients and make your message stick. And this is what we've been working for at Arilin. It's not a plain, old, boring showroom. It's plain, old, boring space. So actually, it's blank space and blank time that you can tell your story in. So I'm using this as an image. <laughs> Our sales director loves this because I'm selling in an empty space and nothing. But this is actually what we are doing. You, you get the time and you get the space to, create, to actually tell your story. And again, as of course, the world is mobile, the world is global. Uh, these kind of online spaces, they are always open, they're globally accessible. And because they're browser-based, you can uh, look at them from any kind of device. And of course, you can share them. And compared to physical face, spaces, they are also sustainable, because you don't have to actually do any kind of physical building. And again, I remind you, you get your one chance, don't mess it up with some kind of gimmick. I've seen these flying whales, they are everywhere when you, people are showing demos about XR, and I hate them. I hate them from the bottom of my heart. It's because they're losing their opportunity to actually create something meaningful. So, what is the benefit for you? It's the space and time to tell your story. 
And here at Arilin, we've been doing this for eight, eight years now. We've been creating uh, a lot of, lot of campaigns for big and small clients, uh, nationally here in Finland and of course abroad. Uh, scale, scaling from this kind of small augmented reality scanning stuff all, all the way to huge artist album release campaigns. And for example, the Ar Arla has been a client of us for four years already. So they've been the first one to move. They've, they've started their journey with us, and now we are creating campaigns that are bigger and bigger and bigger every, every time we are creating them. So they are learning again. They, they are the first movers. So our service to everybody is actually this. The metaverse is, is sci-fi. It's something that's going to happen in, in the future. But we can bring the opportunity to every, every brand and every marketer right now. And again, because I know this is going to be hard to grasp for some of our clients, we, we developed this kind of uh, easy entry system and scaling up the ca campaign. So actually, the, the smaller scale, scale campaigns, they are quite easy, simple and fast to create, because we have created tools for those. But again, we can scale with the client and go all the way to global XR ca campaigns at a massive scale. So we are a strategic partner for our clients and hopefully for lots of new clients also. What this means is that you don't have to actually hire your own professionals because it's going to be hard. There are not that many XR or Metaverse professionals out there. So we are, we are helping our clients transform from this 3D dimension to the fourth dimension. I'm going to be a bit experimental here. This is our case study. If you are here, you can flip out your phone and scan this image and maybe bookmark your, the, the case to your phone. If you are at the alt space, of course, this doesn't happen, but you can get these URLs from us later. So this is a global brand space made for, for German manufacturer Wiesmann. I'm not, because I'm, I'm showing this because you're going to spend there at least 10 minutes, I can guarantee you. But as you scan this, you can, you can visit it yourself. Another one we created just a couple of weeks ago is uh, on this kind of uh, storified brand space for Pepe Deluxe, which is a brand, uh, a band that actually they published their new album two weeks ago. The first one was a bigger scale. This is, again, stuff that you can do in a couple of weeks. So this is quite simple at the moment. And of course, we are the clients of ourselves. Virtual Art Gallery is a prime example of how to start creating these kind of new opportunities you are having and, and start creating business there. We, are, we launched this last spring and already we are getting massive traction in transforming all the global art galleries to online where they can share their art and get more like, exposure for their art. So, as a recap, this is the way how to, how to do it. Start now, tell a story, and partner up. Here again, in these two days, you're going to see lots of cool presentations. You're going to visit great, great brands like Vario, who is creating one of the greatest VR, even, I think it is the greatest VR headsets. There's Zoan, which is creating massive online events. And there's Glue and other, other companies that are creating like, really cool stuff. And of course, there's us that, that can help you get into the metaverse right now. So if you want to connect, connect there's the LinkedIn handles for me and our company. I, will, I would love to chat with you later because this is only scratching the surface. That's about it. Thank you.